this evening I am honored, completely floored, to have Hilliard Green as our bassist and Roy Merriweather. You know, there's an old gospel song that says, uh, nobody knows how I feel but the Lord, and that's really the way I feel tonight. Nobody knows how happy I am to have both of you here. Now, I just want to get right down to the bones. Where are you from originally? I'm from, I was born in Dayton, Ohio. Oh, Dayton, Ohio. Okay. Yeah. And when did you come to New York? Well, I came to New York about 24 years ago. Uh -huh. Well, I came here and paid rent. I've been on the road. Oh, okay. You I came left, left the rent here and I went out on the road, sent the rent back here. Well, where did you go? Well, I've been all over the country. It's about all the, well, I have never played Alaska and Hawaii, but I've played all the other states. And a little, a little bit in Europe. Oh, where in Europe? Uh, France and England. Uh, do I have to answer that? <laughs> <laughs> now wait, is well, that political or something? It, the, the, the funniest thing, the int most interesting thing about France, and I'm not being funny as, yeah. to, as to what has recently occurred with France, yeah. but uh, you know, our, our history goes back to uh, 1492 with Columbus. But the interesting thing about being in Paris is that I could feel the history of all the revolutions Really? I, for some reason, I could feel the aura in, oh in, the, in the aura of the people that yes. they've been through a lot over yeah. the, over the centuries, yeah. you know, and and that was a very interesting feeling. Uh -huh. But I I, I love this. <laughs> that was a great city. I mean, I I've never been into a city that every park bench I saw I wanted to sit down and watch the city go by. <laughs> every <laughs> bench every bench I saw oh I wanted to sit down, goodness. you know, and watch. It was it was I was that Wonderful. you know, Wonderful. interesting. But anyway, I, so I you know I played pretty much. Mostly in this country. Yeah. Who you played with? Some of the people. Well, mainly uh, I played mainly with Roy Merriweather. Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, he's I a great out. guy. I, I'm sure. I'm sure that was okay. Have you met him? <laughs> yes, I met him. Yeah. Yes. He oh, has yes. a hair lip. And no, but <laughs> 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 no, I, I I recorded, started recording uh, for Columbia oh. at a, as a teenager. Oh. And so I've done like 17, 18 albums wow. now. CDs and so I was, I've been on shows with people. Oh right. As a matter of fact, when I was at, at Columbia, mm -hmm. uh, doing our breaks, Miles would Miles Davis would be downstairs, oh, yeah. and Tony Williams recording downstairs yeah. on the second floor, and we'd go listen to them oh, and come back up. Yeah. You know, and, oh, so <laughs> and so, but uh, I mean, wonderful. I have played. Uh, I have so being that I started out, I want to take up all this time. Being that I started okay. out so yeah. young like that, uh -huh. uh, I. You know, I had my own group. Right. And right. I was on shows with these people. Oh, yeah. And I've done yes. like shows playing for like a Freddie Hubbard or. Right. A, and uh, Hill and I played with Gloria Lynn. Oh, that's really? where, where we met. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. All right. He and Gloria Lynn were having a fight in the alley in the back of this club, and I walked. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Roy, you're bad. I know, I You're know. bad. Well, Hilliard, <laughs> where are you from originally? <laughs> yeah, I grew up in Iowa. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's where I grew okay. up. And what brought you to New York? Um, I, I actually, first time I was in New York when I was in, I was in second grade. Uh -huh. And something was attractive, to, something about New York was attractive to me then. Yeah. And then as a young teenager, when I decided to become a musician, mm -hmm. I said, I'm going to live in New York City. Wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you so made your mind early. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah I did. Uh -huh. I didn't yeah. tell anybody, but I made my <laughs> mind up early, yes. No, you don't, you don't tell that when you're that young. No, you know. Yeah, no. Because yeah. yeah. I, I had a little thing with my mother wanted me to be a missionary and go to Africa. And when she wasn't around, you asked me what I wanted to be. I'd say, I want to sing with a band. <laughs> <laughs> a band? Yes, I want to sing with a band. Well, my brother was always playing jazz records. Uh -huh. So I fell in love with jazz. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Who influenced you most? Several. Um, one of the big ones was Stanley Clark. Oh, ah, yeah. yes. Stanley Clark. And there's this guy who plays in the um, uh, Ramsey Lewis Trio, uh -huh. Healthy Young. He influenced me also, right, and right. Charlie Hayden as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. And where have your travels been? Um, actually, more. I played a lot in the, you know, inside the United States, mm -hmm. but I've played a lot in Europe, mm -hmm. and in South America. Oh, how would you like South America? Yeah, no, actually, I, I, I'm getting to love South America a lot. I have a Most girlfriend down there now, so yeah, oh, so, well. yeah, yeah so, <laughs> so uh -huh. I'll be going down to South America okay. mo much more often. What part? Where? Yeah, Argentina. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. And um, 
then I played a little bit in Russia, uh-huh. and uh, but um, never Africa and never Australia, mm. unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how did you like Russia? How was your yeah? It was Azerbaijan subject. actually, and yeah. but it was very interesting. It was it was very poor and very depressed. Yeah. But at one yeah. time, I could tell that that used to be a very wealthy place because mm. some of the architecture there was was quite something to see. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it was it was weird because I, I was the only black person there that, yeah. that they probably had ever seen. Most of them had ever seen, and yeah. you know, I'd be walking down the street and be Africana, Africana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so what's your message to young people today who want to get into the business? Yeah, it's like what I like to have them do is when they when they with the you know want to you know they want to study. Be clear about what they want to do musically, because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. music is so broad these days yeah. that it's um, you know put some thought into what music that you would really want to do, mm-hmm. and then take the time to study mm-hmm. um, people who've come before you. Right, beautiful, Roy. What would you say to young folks today? Well, if you want to get into this business, uh, get as much education in the school and in the street. Mm-hmm. I don't mean. Mm-hmm. The be in the street. I mean, yeah. but, you know, you, you that's all, all the old saying of get your PhD in the street. Right. Uh, you learn yeah. on right. the job. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. get your education too, mm-hmm. and uh, and I hope that you really want to do it mm-hmm. and yeah. love doing it because yeah. sometimes mm-hmm. that might be all you have to read. True. Mm-hmm. Yes. Love yes. it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But hopefully not. Things are you know people are getting a lot of things are changing. Yeah. You know, yeah. there are a lot of good things happening now, mm-hmm. and, and there are a lot of great talent getting a lot of great things right, going. You know, right, so, right. But uh, you know, it's it, it's it, it's still important to show. It, it's important to show up. A right. genius ain't nothing if he doesn't arrive. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so well, how about your family influence? Family influence. Yeah. Well, um, uh, how did my family influence me? Did they influence? Did they encourage? Well, I, uh, they, uh, my family didn't discourage me. I, I, I'm from a, my father was a Baptist minister. Oh, shake hands. <laughs> <laughs> Mine too. And, uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, so, but he was, and he was nearly 50 years older than I. Mm-hmm. My family spans uh, age-wise. I, I'm the oh. 11th of 11. Oh, my. Wow. Yeah. And, uh, wonderful. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, I, and so I, uh, so I played for the church. Yeah. I started playing for the church when I was six. My goodness. I had been playing oh, about three years then. Right. That's and so, so I, you know, I, I was influenced. You know, I love gospel. Yeah. And I, you know, I think gospel teaches you where one is, <laughs> which is yes. uh, very, very important. important. To have. Very important. <laughs> Definitely. And so, like, and uh, uh, but you know, I, I can't say the biggest uh, uh, musically. I got it, uh, other than being influenced by my father and his uh, sisters, my my sisters. Big Macy O. Merriweather was uh, a pianist in Chicago mm-hmm. in the 40s. My father, Jonas' brother. Oh yes. I'm yes. doing a dedication to him on my album that I just finished. Wonderful. At a, a new studio Wonderful. owned by a bassist named Leon Dorsey. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. He has a beautiful studio, 62 uh-huh. Second Street, new studio. Uh-huh. And I just finished recording yeah. and uh, I did a, a boogie called Flying Boogie, dedicated oh, wow. to Big Macy O. Oh wow. That he wrote. Wow. Okay. And it nearly broke my arm. Yeah. To play it is quite Look at this play. Oh my! So you won't be hearing anything more about him anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> so now, when is this album coming out? I hope to get it out. Uh, well, I'm trying to find a release date. We've been working on it for uh, for about six months now, oh. and just got it done this winter. Oh, okay. See you, Nino. Where this winter has been just amazing. It is. I think we can all write a book about this past yeah. winter. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope, I hope to get it out, uh, you know, uh, during the summer. Well, will you come back when it comes out? I want to hear that boogie. You do? Yeah. I was afraid of that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I liked you when the show yeah, started. Yeah, right. But you're in trouble now. <laughs> well, listen. I know where you live. <laughs> yeah. so, now, you, you know how, how preacher's kids are. They uh-huh. don't really care too much about what people think about them. Because <laughs> 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 they know they're going to do their own thing no matter what happens. Right. No matter what. Because my mother used to as long as you're doing the right thing, don't worry about what they think. So tell me about your family. Oh, wait. Are there any? Oh, yeah, you did say. How many musicians in your family? 
Well, they all sang. I had a sister who died at a young age who was mm. a pianist, but she only played gospel. Oh. And I mean, not that she only played gospel, yeah. but and uh, I have another sister who's a minister, and she's a very fine writer in, in Ohio, and, oh. a, and a minister, that's the assistant pastor of our home church. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And uh, my older sister is, uh, you know, this, they're all singers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they're, I'm, I'm the only professional pianist, oh, okay. uh, and the only pianist right now. But they yeah. could evolve. I, I think they could evolve they could play, have, if yeah. they really had wanted yeah. to. Yeah. Pretty much in the same chunk of wood. Yeah. That's something you want if you want to do. Yeah. 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 So now, tell me about your family. Yeah, well, I'm the sandwich in between, um, you know, an older brother, older sister, uh -huh. and a younger sister. Mm -hmm. and I'm the only one who pursues music professionally. Uh -huh. I mean, my sister studied, studied uh, for a little while. Mm -hmm. uh, um, actually, everybody in my family studied for a little bit, mm -hmm. except for my dad. And my mother was a, a church pianist. Oh, that's awesome. And, um, and, but I started out on cello because my, you know, I wanted to be like my older sister who was playing the violin. Yeah. And she said, you know, your piano's going to get, being a boy, your hand's going to get too big for the violin, so you should start on cello. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I started on cello. Right? Oh, my. Yeah, and then when I was 12, I switched to bass. To bass, yeah, yeah. yeah. So who influenced you on that bass? Yeah, the first one was probably my teacher. Mm -hmm. You know, she mm -hmm. was a violinist, but you know, she, mm -hmm. she was the one who got me started right. on right. the bass. Yeah. And then the first actual bass player, jazz bass player, that started becoming acquainted with. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I can't remember. But um, oh no, I do. I do remember this. My my brother had gone off to college to come back, and I was rummaging through his collection. He had this one record by Stanley Clark. Oh yeah. And it's Spanish famous for strings and bass, and that oh just wow. like, wow! <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. and I must have worn that record out. Oh you know? my goodness, yeah. 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 Well, I tell you, it is absolutely thrilling to have both of you here. And I really hope that you will come back. And, Thank I, you. and I promise not to be late. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know he was, uh, uh, should I tell the audience? Yes, I, go right I walked ahead. in and he was doing a show, which I, I think that you should see. I don't know when it's going to be on. Okay. Uh, but uh, he did a solo performance uh, a show that is just phenomenal. I, I've always yeah. enjoyed yeah. when he and I worked for Gloria Lynn. Uh, yeah. We used to do, we used to do s music out front and he would uh -huh. do great solos. The two of you are together, and just delightful together. Oh, I'm glad it sounded Absolutely. good. Absolutely. Not just sounded good, but the way you you're married, you know, your, your thing is together so beautifully. Well, he, you know, he, when he says mother play for the church, yes. <laughs> that's kind of how many yes. nominated there. Right, you know? right. And, uh, but I, you know, and I, his, his tone is, I, he has a great tone, you know. Yes. And, uh, oh, yeah. and, and then I just asked him, would he, uh, I think the gentleman that was here, one of the, the directors, producers, uh -huh. asked, would he think maybe he'll play with you? I said, well, yeah. I think so. And when I saw he was sweating on his last show, he might <laughs> tell me to go someplace. <laughs> I ain't going to say where that is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't thinking that at all. Okay. <laughs> okay. Make it worse. Okay. No, but <laughs> so now, what are you doing? What, what's, what's up in the future? What's happening? Well, I'm finishing the, you know, the, trying to get the CD. The CD is right. called, it's going to be called uh, Twilight Blues. Twilight Blues. Uh, and, um, um, I'm playing what, Where are you playing? Where you, the gigs? Well. Where? Yeah, oh, yeah, for me, I, I just finished my solo bass record. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And, it, you know, and so I'm trying to, I'm planning a, planning a CD release party. Oh. Okay. Upcoming. You're going to let us know, right? Yeah. I'm definitely okay. let you know. I'll be letting the whole world know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah. Right. So now, what's the name of the album? It's called Alone. Alone. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. And then also, I'll be doing some shows upcoming with Jimmy Scott in the city. Jimmy Scott's a jazz pianist. Oh, yes. Yeah. Little Jimmy Scott. Yeah. 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 Wonderful. Yeah. I've known him for a number of years. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Great yeah. yeah. Terrific. Well, I really, really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart because this was absolutely a great surprise. And I just can't say thank you enough. Well, my pleasure. And my of pleasure course, as well. when uh, the albums and the CDs come out, you come back, you put them on camera and talk about them and tell people where you can get them. I have a CD. A couple of years, but. Okay. Uh, 
Now, and where where can we get this? This Which is at the chain stores. Oh, at right. the chain stores. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. We will have to do that. Well, you have heard the most wonderful musicians, Hilliard Green and Roy Merriweather. You've been, you, I'm sure you've been delighted because I've just been thrilled. The Ella Garrett and Friends show. And I'm so very happy to have made a new friend of Hilliard Green. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you again with some more good music. You want to play a little bit, play out? <laughs>